fast-moving object the size of Manhattan is hurtling towards our solar system, and it will make its closest pass to Earth on December 17th. Comet, asteroid, or something else? For the past few months, all eyes have been on a strange visitor in the solar system, the interstellar object 3I slash Atlas. Initially, it was thought to be an ordinary comet, but recent data from the James Webb and Hubble telescopes have revealed highly unexpected findings. In recent days, new images have been released of the mysterious interstellar traveler, which could shed light on new aspects of the puzzle surrounding this unknown object. Is 3I slash Atlas a natural comet with unusual chemistry differing from what we observe in the solar system? Or could it indicate something more profound? Let us examine the recent data together and determine the direction in which this mystery is progressing. This object was discovered this summer and has occupied scientists around the clock since then. Recent data from major telescopes such as the James Webb Space Telescope, SPHEREX, Hubble Space Telescope, and even the Vera C. Rubin Observatory are making the narrative even more captivating. Let us proceed step by step with straightforward and scientific explanations accessible to all to gain valuable insights and explore how these data advance the debate on its natural or artificial origin. Is this merely a wandering cosmic body, or perhaps a probe from a distant civilization? Join me on Astreon. First, let us address the chemistry of this object, as this aspect resembles a chemical puzzle that has astonished scientists. It is akin to a layered structure where each layer exhibits distinct compositions. This object appears to possess unusual and varied chemical layers. JWST, a powerful instrument sensitive to infrared wavelengths, captured its first detailed observation of 3I slash Atlas on August 6, 2025. The results indicate that the surrounding gas cloud, known as the Comet's Coma, a gaseous halo formed as the object approaches the sun similar to the sublimation of ice under heat, is primarily composed of carbon dioxide, CO2 rather than water, H2O. The CO2 to H2O ratio is approximately 8 to 1, significantly higher than in typical solar system comets. Why is this significant? In our comets, water typically predominates, analogous to a carbonated beverage with more liquid than gas. If natural, this suggests three I slash Atlas formed in another stellar system with differing chemical conditions, perhaps around a cooler star where CO2 froze more readily. However, some scientists, such as Avi Loeb from Harvard University, known for his bold hypotheses and discussed in prior videos, Propose this could indicate an artificial construct, such as a structure releasing gases in a controlled manner, possibly powered by nuclear energy. Of course, NASA stresses that this remains within natural bounds. The JWST infrared image from August 6th shows the coma as an elongated teardrop shape with intense emission from gases. Its radius is approximately 350,000 kilometers, roughly 90% of the average Earth-Moon distance. This substantial expansion occurs while the object is still 3.3 astronomical units from the Sun, beyond Mars orbit. Typically, comets activate upon closer approach 
akin to the sublimation of volatile ices under solar heating. If natural, this premature activity may result from solar warmth sublimating CO2 ices. If artificial, it could involve an internal mechanism regulating gas release. In recent days, NASA scientists have announced that more precise analyses of JWST data show that the coma of 3I slash Atlas is expanding asymmetrically. This means certain sections of the surrounding gas cloud appear brighter and denser, while the opposite side is fainter. This pattern may stem from the nucleus's rotation. As the body rotates, various surfaces heat sequentially, releasing gas from fissures or specific regions. Some models suggest a rotation period of about 16 hours generates these rhythmic patterns in gas expansion. In simple terms, it resembles an irregular fountain activating from different sections with each rotation, unbalancing the coma's shape. NASA's SphereX telescope, launched in March of this year and functioning as an infrared scanner mapping the entire sky, captured valuable images in mid-August. These images depict the coma as extensive and confirm the presence of water ice on the surface, though the outgassed material is dominated by CO2. Over the past 10 days, SphereX has demonstrated that, as the Sun heats this interstellar visitor, its layers activate sequentially. Lighter gases like CO2 are released first, followed gradually by water ice. This implies the object resembles a layered onion, with the Sun unveiling new layers progressively. Let us turn to the Very Large Telescope. VLT in Chile. This telescope obtained optical spectra in late July and early August, revealing the release of nickel without iron, which typically occur together. The nickel release rate is about 5 grams per second, comparable to other comets. Additionally, cyanide gas, CN, appeared after nickel, reversing the usual sequence. If natural, this may arise from specific chemical compounds liberating nickel earlier, possibly due to cosmic radiation. Yet, it sustains the artificial hypothesis, as if involving an engineered material. ESO provided an update on August 28th indicating that new analyses link this sequence to the object's internal structure, layers sublimating one by one. However, the Hubble Space Telescope, this veteran instrument that, despite over three decades of service, continues to perform exceptionally, captured new images of 3i slash Atlas in mid-August. These images reveal a faint coma accompanied by indications of water vapor and its decomposition product, the hydroxyl radical OH. This signifies that the object's surface has begun releasing frozen water, though weakly given its distance of about 3.3 astronomical units from the Sun. The nucleus size is estimated at less than one kilometer based on these data. A small icy body, perhaps comparable to a mid-sized mountain on Earth. Notably, unlike typical solar system comets, HST spectra show no traces of familiar carbon gases such as CN or C2. The absence of these molecules has surprised scientists, as they are nearly ubiquitous in our comets. This disparity may indicate that 3I slash Atlas originated in a markedly different galactic environment. In collaboration with JWST, HST has released combined data showing the coma gradually extending in the antisolar direction. In simpler terms, the initial signs of a tail are emerging, 
a narrow tail resembling a flag in cosmic wind. This tail remains faint, but is expected to become more distinct and elongated as the object nears the sun. Some scientists assert that these findings highlight two key points. First, HST confirms 3, I slash Atlas, behaves like a comet, albeit with distinct chemistry. Second, the lack of standard carbon gases likely stems from formation in a cold, atypical composition environment or alterations by cosmic rays over billions of years. In any event, HST has once again demonstrated that, despite its older technology relative to contemporary telescopes, it can unveil profound cosmic secrets. On another front in space, scientists have proposed that the Juno spacecraft, currently orbiting Jupiter, could alter its trajectory in March 2026, precisely when 3I slash Atlas passes near Jupiter, to examine this interstellar object at close range. If implemented, Juno's suite of instruments including infrared and hyperspectral spectrometers, visible light camera, and particle sensors, could scrutinize the object's composition and structure up close, a feat unattainable by any Earth-based telescope. One intriguing aspect in JWST data regarding 3I slash Atlas is the atypical pattern in its emitted light. Unlike standard solar system comets, where illumination derives from reflected sunlight and scattered dust, a substantial portion of Atlas's brightness is concentrated in infrared wavelengths. This suggests that some energy may be released internally, not solely from the surface. When research teams compared these data to standard comet models, they observed that Atlas's light variations exhibit a subtle yet repetitive rhythm. Specifically, brightness fluctuates slightly over defined intervals. The prevailing scientific explanation attributes this to nuclear rotation, causing fissures or particular surface areas to activate intermittently and expel gas and dust, akin to a fountain illuminating differently with each cycle. Nevertheless, researchers like Avi Loeb note that such regular rhythms can prompt further inquiries, as they are less common in nature. No conclusive evidence of artificial light or signals exists yet, but these fluctuations have intensified discussions about Atlas's anomalous origin. The object's trajectory also tells its own tale. Atlas will approach Mars in October, Venus in November, and Jupiter the following March. Some argue these proximities in the vast cosmos could be coincidental, like a ball released on an enormous soccer field serendipitously passing near multiple goalposts. However, Avi Loeb holds a differing view. He contends the probability of such sequential close approaches is exceedingly low, potentially indicating a designed or guided path. In simple terms, Loeb suggests 3 I slash Atlas's trajectory resembles gravitational assist maneuvers employed in our missions. For instance, when a spacecraft leverages planetary flybys to gain velocity or alter direction. He has even posited that this object might once have been a constructed probe or structure, now dormant or adrift without propulsion. Nonetheless, most scientists disagree with this notion. They maintain that, on galactic scales with billions of objects, some trajectories naturally appear peculiar or improbable. We must await evidence of non-gravitational acceleration or controlled alterations.
what do you think? Share your thoughts and analysis in the comments. Thanks for being with us on Astreon.